Dear Anthony, it is with great pleasure we welcome you to our soccer team today. You hear about pediatric cancer and the experience of these young, young kids who have to overcome all this. And it's one thing to read about it, to see videos on it, to see profiles, but it's another thing when you see the person and being able to meet Anthony, be this vivacious four-year-old who just wants to play, be free-spirited, and a reminder of like what's important and, and how you keep perspective on life. We watched a video for Anthony's Army and we all knew how cute and adorable he was but we didn't know what his personality was like. So when he first walked in he had an adorable little bow tie and he wouldn't let go of his parents so we weren't sure how the day was going to go, if he was going to stay shy. But once he opened up he had a beautiful personality, he was funny, he was cute, he was awesome. I would say out of all the teammates I've had as a soccer player, Anthony's definitely the best dressed. But besides that, he's probably one of the most optimistic people and one of the most bubbly people I've ever met in my life. I think whenever you meet young kids, we're all affected by their spirit and their innocence. So when you have someone with, that you know is overcoming this and has all these good qualities and infectious qualities like a smile, you can only hope that it, it, it makes an impression. I'm pretty sure that it, it did based on how the girls talked about it in the subsequent days after the event. One of the things when Anthony was really sick, he was only five months old when he was diagnosed with his brain tumor, and one of the reasons we knew he was really sick is because he stopped smiling. Like, we couldn't get him to smile no matter what we tried. And kind of like coming out of surgery, we had four days where his personality just wasn't there. So when he finally did smile, it was like this huge thing in our family. And that's kind of been his signature through life is the fact that he's always happy, the fact that he's always smiling. So to, as a mom, like when he was really shy at first, I was kind of just waiting for that moment where his personality came out. And then to see him like walking around now all excited and smiling, it just makes me feel really good. He really did seem so mature for his age and so bubbly and so happy. And you know, what he's gone through, him and his family just show that they just grow through it. It's, it's a source of uh, inspiration and motivation for them. So like his quote is never give up. And for him, like when he was told he was never gonna be able to walk again, like it became this thing for him that he was gonna show he was gonna walk. He was gonna show that he could do things that a normal kid would be able to do with a smile on his face. And that was really inspirational for me because it showed that, you know, it really the power of like your brain and like your strong mental toughness and pushing yourself through adversity like really does have this powerful effect. Who do you think is the fastest on the team? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was telling us about his favorite, how he loves superheroes and idolizes superheroes. And he was telling us more about how he loves Batman and Spider-Man and like, he was giving us his card and his card is that he's a superhero and he's Superman. So we went with that and just ran with it. Anthony is our little tank. He could conquer anything um, and he does that a lot of those things of in school and explaining why he has a scar on his head to walking into rooms of adults and making them feel not overwhelming to him. He's warm and welcome to everyone. He's my strong man in our tank of our family. For us, we talk about our some of the, the core values that try to shape who we are. Humility is one, and I think he certainly epitomizes that. I think he really is a kid who's just appreciates life. Hardworking, tough, I think those are all characteristics that we demand from our, our athletes and I think they see it in this little four-year-old boy. Keeping a perspective on what's important and prioritizing things, he you know, will teach us and epitomize those values as well. <laughs> Most sport teams throw around the quote, never give up, like hearing it in and out, it loses its meaning and it gets a lot of wear and tear, but seeing somebody who has that small little saying or little small pushing through adversities have that impact on them, you sit back and you realize like, maybe if I do mentally push myself in ways that I'm not exactly comfortable with or I really push through not giving up through adversity, he's a living, breathing example of not giving up, having a really positive, long-lasting impact on your life.